Hello fellow Helldivers, Thornton here, and we are exploring a new planet called, I think, Outside, also goes by Colorado. But today we're gonna be talking about the brand new Illuminate faction, what type of enemies are gonna come in, some new objective type game modes, and even more. But without further ado, let's jump into today's topic. What initially appeared to be a mind-bending scientific anomaly, players creating a black hole within the game, which is pretty damn cool if I'm going to say so, has been revealed to be something far more extraordinary and thrilling. The cosmic phenomenon is not actually a black hole at all, and if you have been seeing some of the data mines, you might have a pretty good idea of what it is, because it seems like it's going to be the Illuminate Warp Gate, heralding the arrival of the formidable new enemy type. The Illuminate, which has been long rumored and also data mined and leaked all over the place, are finally ready to step into the limelight and we're finally getting a new enemy after the terminids and automatons but let's go ahead and back up a bit first and explain this whole situation in recent weeks helldiver 2 players have been immersed in a challenging event where their collective efforts inadvertently led to the creation of what was initially thought to be a black hole as we destroyed the super colony of meridia however there's a lot of curiosity and theories about its true nature and purpose and it wasn't long before people started connecting the dots about the truth buried deep within the game's code and what they discovered was nothing short of astonishing the so-called black hole does appear like i said to be a warp gate and according to the game's lore the illuminate are an advanced and secretive alien race here are some of the images of them right now and whose technological prowess actually far exceeds that of any known civilization so far in the galaxy except for ours because democracy the warp gate created through a series of intricate and cooperative in-game tasks serves as a portal allowing the illuminate to basically travel vast interstellar distances instantaneously and join the fray based on intel gleaned from the fringe of the internet, specifically the fringes of Reddit, here's a comprehensive rundown of the enemy types we can expect to face when the Illuminate invasion hits. One is going to be the cultist grunts, the Illuminate guy, first here. And these guys are Illuminate foot soldiers. Think flashlight wielding acolytes dipped in a vat of bad sci-fi horror. The Illuminate guy seems to be your basic cannon fodder and will likely come out of the warp gate, which was that of mine along with ghouls, which we have seen animations for already. But number two is where things start to get a little interesting with the arcane artillery, with adept mages and tripod mortars. The Illuminates aren't really afraid to get their hands dirty, but they also pack a serious arcane punch, which is something new in Helldivers. Adept mages, shrouded figures, crackling with dark energy, appear to be mid-tier spellcasters, likely hurling bolts of eldritch energy and buffing their allies. Tripod mortars, meanwhile, are clunky but powerful mechanized units, lobbing explosive ordinances, very similar to War of the Worlds style design. Taking these down quickly should be a priority, and they do come Come in two different tiers. There's also the summoning squad, where things get interesting and potentially horrifying with the Illuminate summoners. According to leaks, these rope figures can unleash nightmarish creatures from another dimension, think tentacles, fangs, and probably a whole lot of slime, especially if these are the ones that are responsible for the warp gate. The leaks also mentioned summoner's whip, which seems to be a melee weapon we will have to contend with that was just found. The master of illusion is also going to be for the illusionists. Here's where things get tactical. Illusionists, as the name implies, seem to be specialists in deception. Leaks hint at animations that suggest they can create illusions of themselves or other objects, potentially to confuse and disorient Helldivers. Stay frosty, stay focused, and remember, if it looks too good to be true in Helldivers, it probably is. Although you can still try to get that war bond or those super credits. But, uh, you know, I'm just saying I've seen mimics. Number five is going to be the interdimensional gatekeepers, which is actually just the warp gate. These are structures that apparently rifts in the fabric of space time, which appear to be the key to the Illuminate invasion. Leaks suggest they can spawn enemies and potentially even function as fast travel points for the Illuminate forces. Taking down a warp gate should be a high priority objective in any mission. It is critical to know, though, that it is a two way portal, so you can toss a high impact grenade in one to give the other side a little surprise. And the Illuminate promise to be a whole new kind of enemy for Helldivers to face. They're not just another shoot em up horde, they have arcane abilities, illusions, and the powers to summon creatures from beyond the veil. This means Helldivers will need to adapt their tactics. Expect a larger focus on teamwork, coordinated fire to take down priority targets, and maybe even some creative problem solving to counter the Illuminate's illusions and summon creatures. There's also a leaked video snippet hinting at the sighting of an Illuminate ship. Good evening, I'm your host, Coretta Kelly. What you're looking at here is recently released footage from the Ministry of Defense showing an interstellar object that seems to resemble an Illuminate void ship. The Illuminate have long been considered eradicated following the First Galactic War, but this video is causing some to question if any somehow survived. 
Officials say they have not yet confirmed whether the object is truly illuminate in origin, but that they are considering all possibilities. That's Liberty's latest. I'm Coretta Kelly. However, the most chilling revelation came in the form of a massive audio leak, showcasing eerie voice lines and panicked civilian chatter and references to squids being back. Now, I could sit here and talk about it, but I'm just going to go ahead and play the clip. And Helldivers, if you have a weak stomach, you might want to turn this off and be a little bit weary because it is going to get pretty haunting. Unidentified hostiles incoming. Mission at 30 minutes remaining. Enemy elite. Deploying illumination flare. <laughs> Of course, we're also gonna go over some of the weaponry that they can be using, so let's go into that right now. And even though we've touched on the warp gates, we're gonna go a little bit more in depth thanks to some data miners. This is brought to us by Iron Sights. And based on his leaks and the provided image, the warp gate appears as a swirling vortex of alien energy contained within a mechanical frame. The pulse waiting gateway isn't just an aesthetic choice, it hints at the constant stream of enemies that, according to him, will pour forth. Unlike the predictable waves of a bug hole, the Illuminates are cunning and well-equipped foe, and their advanced weaponry and tactics will push Helldiver squads to their limits. Luckily, we can actually go ahead and throw things back in as it is a two-way portal, at least according to the information provided. The strategic implications are pretty dire. These warp gates could become fortified positions, fueling forth endless illuminate reinforcements and disrupting our carefully laid plan for democracy. Taking down a warp gate will likely become a high priority objective, but expect a brutal fight for supremacy, along with their long staff, which appears to be a hybrid weapon. In its one-handed form, the weapon can function like a bow staff allowing for quick strikes at close range. In its two-handed form, the weapon can fire some sort of long-range projectile once again, implying that the squids are kind of psychic-like beings. There's also the Hive Buster, which seems to be an objective which is a desperate mission against the terminated foe. You and your fellow Helldivers will be tasked with locating a hidden Hive core buried deep underground. Once unearthed, you'll call down a colossal machine, the Hive Buster, as you can see here once again thanks to Iron Sights, which is specifically designed to crack open in the pulsating heart of the hive. While the hive buster drills into the core, you become a shield against a relentless onslaught of enraged terminids. You know, the things that we all wanna kill. Imagine the frantic defense of a siege, but with the added pressure of a ticking clock. The hive buster's drill, well, it can't last forever, and what kind of enemy will come out to defend the hive? Could be one of those giant ones we've been hearing about for a while now. If you succeed in defending the hive buster, it unleashes a devastating nuclear payload, presumably eradicating the hive core and the surrounding surrounding terminate threat. While the leaks offer a tantalizing glimpse, many questions do remain. How will the Illuminate Warp Gate function in gameplay? Will it be a stationary menace or a mobile threat capable of wreaking havoc across a battlefield? What types of Illuminate soldiers other than the ones we saw will the Warp Gate spawn? And can we expect terrifying new elite units or will we face hordes of these standard Illuminate troops? Let me know down below, are you guys excited for the Illuminate or do you guys think that Arrowhead has waited just a little bit too long to release them? And what is your most feared enemy type that will be coming in? Also, don't forget to check out this channel and this channel right here where I cover more news, information, and leaks on X Defiant, the finals, and of course, Helldivers 2. And until next time, everyone, thank you for stopping by. I'll see you in the next video.